Hello, welcome back to another Synernus video. So today we have two updates. We've got the pre-anniversary banner, or first anniversary eve they're calling it, and a new silver star banner as well. We do also have a new conquest event as well, and this nightmare is actually pretty interesting skill-wise. Greatly reduces prep time and effect duration of summon skills used by enemies. So for example, if they use Mao at the end you, and it's summoned, use this, it will reduce the duration of Mao, audio, etc. I can never remember how to pronounce that nightmare's name. Um, reducing prep time as well could be useful. So yeah, that will definitely add to the meta. Okay, in terms of the banners, first of all we've got this silver star banner, so Paladin Aladdin. Hey. All right, your usual um, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70% booster pole arm. That's the weapon, and then you get your 800, so 400 magic attack from each arcana, and your usual 300 magic attack and 100 magic defense base stats. You've got this 19 cost spear with a combo main skill, but no DC2. Would be nice to roll for this one, but. It is not a step banner, so I'm not going to bother. You've then got this weapon here, a sword, DC2, 18 cost, which gets boosted when Lindworm or anything else with Gale Blessing is up. It's only a level 3 skill though, but with Lindworm that should um, surpass level even a level 4 skill. You've then got this staff, which is very average, 1.5 targets, not no recovery support. Two. And then this instrument, which is an interesting mix. Magic attack and physical defense, two one to two targets, but no support boon two. So it's not bad, but yeah. And it says additional items tradable with medals of desire six will not be added to the middle exchange after this grimoire, so there will be no more of these sort of standard or step up banners. I imagine there may be some like um anniversary event banners and whatnot coming up yeah this will be the last generic standard banner at least um and the date is only the 18th so that's somewhat surprising normally they do another banner on like the 20 something so yeah i'm not going to be rolling for that one you've then got these two first anniversary Eve Grimoires, one for the Vanguard, one for the Rearguard. They both work exactly the same. You're guaranteed two SR weapons. Doesn't really say too much there. So if I go straight into the banner. And then, as mentioned, it's double. It's say 6% for SRs instead of your usual 3%. And it's just sort of equal chances of all of these classes. So I'll be pulling that, hopefully I don't get any dupes. Hopefully I get a spear class actually. And then the rear guard one obviously works the same as well. I'm not going to be rolling for this one. A because I don't have enough Twilight Crystals. B because the even if you get a class, so the weapon itself is going to be useless, so I don't play rear guard anymore. And then the class itself would generally only give 400 base stats. Um, and that base stat, those base stats are spread across equally. So 100 magic attack, 100 physical attack, 100 magic defense, 100 physical defense, which is not bad, but just not as good as if I were to get a magic class. So yeah, I'll just do the Vanguard. And uh, here we go. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. Oh, and it's pretty bad. Not as many shinies as I was expecting. Oh no, cheap. Oh, I've got three weapons. I've not seen this before. 18 cost. But it's not DC2, so I probably won't even bother using it. Uh, 17 cost. Already got that class. Okay. Wasn't bad. 
but we don't really get anything we could choose from that. Second go. Let's get something that we can use, please. Oh, the rope broke. Four shinies this time. Let's see what we get. No. Another chip. Uh, this is chip galore. Final roll. Please give me a paladin class that I don't have. Rick did not break. Ooh. It's a lot more nicer. But hey, never shiny. Okay, let's do this. Spear, Defiant Bird Spear, Great Winds. Ha, ah, no classes. How can that be? At least we can limit break a few things. This is a decent bow. Although level 3 skill only, 18 cost DC2 though. Ah, oh, how did we not get a single new class out of that? What are the chances? Okay. Quite high chances, there are loads of classless weapons. Oh well, it is what it is. How many medals will I have now? Oh, I'm only going to have 300 after this, so I can't even buy an Arcana yet. Still missing Paladin. Pinocchio Arcana, so yeah, I'll see where I get 600 Twilight Crystals from, and who knows, I guess, banner-wise, I'll probably end up rolling it on Silver Star, maybe the Magic Vanguard, we shall see, but yeah, I'll see where we end up rolling it, and I'll probably just keep my Twilight Crystals for now, just to see what plays out, and I'm not wasting them, but yeah, I'll need another 200. Um, Metals of Desire anyway, just so that I can buy the Arcana. Well yeah, that about does it for this one. I'll be doing a few upgrades, well, I guess only limit breaks really. Well, you guess you still count them as an upgrade and uh, see where my points get me to. Probably only 213k, I think there were two that I could limit break. No new classes, so it's a bit unfortunate. 213k though, not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Thanks for watching, leave a like, comment and subscribe as usual if you want to see more Sinalis content. Catch you in the next one. Bye.